All right, guys, today we're taking a look at the tripod system. I'm gonna show you all about the transferring between it, making sure you don't lose your tripods when you get upgraded pieces of gear you wanna transfer to, all that kind of stuff. First things first, wrong button. On the map, right, we're looking at the uh, tripod person here. It says transfer skill tree, and it literally looks like the same as the tripod symbol does inside the skills, makes it very easy to find them. And we'll go ahead and talk to her, right? And so. I did my chaos dungeons already got a few pieces so that i could do a demonstration i've got this piece of glo these gloves here right and i currently have two things on it that i actually like and one thing that i don't want so we're going to come over here and it's also showing me right that i've got one here that i have marked as something that i want i can show you that after this as well so we're going to go ahead and click that this is the one i'd like to replace this is the one that i want Transfer rate is 100% right now. When the tripod level over here is a level two or higher, it will not be 100%. And there is a separate resource that you have to acquire to try to boost that chance if you'd like to get the chance higher and it still won't be 100%. Get that RNG in there. So we're going to transfer this over. We will lose the piece of gear, right? We lost that piece of gear. But now this has three things on it that I actually want. So I'm going to make sure, like, if I get a higher quality of this, I don't want to lose this, right? Let's say I get a 90 quality pair of gloves. I don't want to lose all three of these tripods that I actually like. We're going to go over to the tripod inventory. I'm going to look at my gloves here. And, right, I've got some stuff in here that wasn't that important. I was just kind of testing things out before. Uh, you've also got two tabs. All right so right now i had this saved uh and it had the old one right so we're just gonna overwrite that with this new set here because it's actually all three that we want now now this is saved in here let's say we can just demonstrate with a piece of gear we don't care about right piercing strike on this and this all right yeah don't care about this so let's say we want this chest piece to have the tripods that i've saved in here before right my deadly blow higher up on my swiftness here more damage right these are good ones i want we just boom boom now that piece of gear has that on there the library system is awesome you can see that didn't i don't think it even costed silver at all we've got two tabs we can store you can of course with crystals expand how many tabs make sure you use the library system like you don't want to lose your awesome tripods when you get a higher quality piece of gear right you want to get that higher quality stats and then move your awesome tripods tripods onto that awesome piece of gear. Now, I'm gonna exit out, and let's see, this is the dust that you're going to have to acquire, and it tells you that you get the dust from Guardian Raids or exchange from the Bloodstones, that would be the Guild Currency. And this will take the chance on a level two piece, or a level two tripod from about 30% to 60%, so far, I've done two of these and one failed, one succeeded. Next little bit we need to take a look at, right, to make sure you're aware of how to do all of this is in the skills menu, which is just K, right? Bring that up. Settings down here. You go over to settings. Now you get to go by skill and choose what's the tripod that you like to use the most, right? And then you just mark it. Mark it. Mark it. Right? Obviously, the only one I care about on the charge is the shield. And then you just go through and pick the ones that you like, right? I kind of like cooldown reduction a lot when that's available for my class because my class has super long cooldowns. And I run this regularly, but I know late game I'm going to have high crit rate and I'll probably be running this one. So this is the one I actively seek out, right? You can just kind of do it. And then again, I'm only part this is what I run in my boss build. So I have this marked, even though in general messing around chaos dungeon type stuff, I'll actually run this one. And then, you know, just go through your skills. You mark the thing that you want, what you want. And then what happens is when you get those pieces of gear, right? Instead of the piece of gear just being in here regular, it'll be like that one piece of gear was that you could see the little, right? The little tripod symbol on. Like you can actually on the left chest piece here, you can see that they are lit up. You can see the colored tripod marks, letting me know that these were all things that I wanted, which is 
Oh, so this isn't showing it over here because this is the piece I transferred to. So they're exactly the same. I was like, that's crazy. I got a piece with all the same, but that's the, happened to be the demonstration piece we just did with the library, right? So here's another example. Like nothing is lit up because I don't care about these, but the piece on the left, you can see that they are lit up. And even the piece of gear, if you say had it in the inventory, right? It was in your bag. When it's in your bag and you get it, it'll be clearly marked like this as well as in your auto dismantle you can check this box right here to make sure it won't dismantle anything where you mark that you want pieces of gear with that tripod and that's pretty much everything right oh wait i got one more little tip here if you go down to the guide section and you go to the training area there is a quest that you can specifically choose to accept on the tripod system if you do that quest the welcome challenge will give you 10 of these for transferring level two and higher tripods. That's my last thing. There you go, guys. That is it. That's the tripod system, the library system, how to use all this stuff. Uh, it was really a great system, in my opinion. Thank you very much, Patreon people. I hope everyone enjoyed the content. I'll see you in the next video.